नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक ऑन अदर वीडियो ऑफ वीक वन दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट डिफाइनिंग लिंग्विस्टिक्स एंड इट्स ब्रांचेस वेलकम टू आर जर्नी टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ फ्रेंसिक लिंग्विस्टिक्स इन दिस वीडियो विल एक्सप्लोर द फैंसिनेटिंग आस्पेक्ट ऑफ लैंग्वेज हाउ इट्स स्ट्रक्चर्ड यूज एंड हाउ इट चेंज ओवर टाइम it's not just about grammar and vocabulary it's about understanding how language shapes our thoughts cultures and the way we communicate this video will definitely help you to understand the different branches of linguistics with the details with reference to your functions if we define linguistics we can say like this linguistics is the scientific study of language in one line we can mention this it covers everything from how we create sounds to how we put words together in form of sentences we'll see how it helps us express ideas emotions and facts connecting us all as humans it even intersects with other fields like psychology anthropology and computer science you will be surprised to know that our our world is home to over 7000 languages linguistics helps us understand this incredible diversity while also finding common patterns in all languages as i mentioned earlier this can be one of the areas of research by studying linguistics we learn to appreciate the complexity and beauty of language and its powerful role in society there are different branches we'll discuss in this video one by one let us start with the first that is phonetics phonetics is all about the sounds we make when we speak it looks at how the sounds are produced transmitted and heard if we go deeper about sub areas sub parts of phonetics we can divide this in three parts first one is articulatory phonetics that means how sounds are made second one is acoustic phonetics that means it talks about sounds as waves and third one is auditory phonetics that means how we hear sounds so there are three different you know areas of phonetics in this part we dive into the physical side of speech sounds understanding phonetics is essential for any language you are learning is the first step in understanding how speech works in different languages with reference to validating and finding the variations in phonetics this can be one of the most significant aspects for forensic linguistics that's why phonetics is crucial in forensic linguistics experts use it to identify speaker and that's why experts use it to identify speakers analyze their accents and understand disputed audio recordings it's like being a detective but for sounds right isn't it sound you know uh, interesting phonology phonology means the sound patterns if we explore phonology we can say that while phonetics is about the sounds themselves phonology looks at how these sounds are used in languages it's all about patterns and meanings not just the physical properties of sound right so it goes be a different in a different way phonology studies the smallest units of sound in a language called phonemes you may have to go deeper deeper in phonetics right uh, 
once you go deeper into that you will understand all these terminologies fine and you also uh, get to know more from e content these are the sounds that can change the meaning of words we'll see how different languages have their own phonological rules affecting how words are formed fine so this is the beauty of language right in forensic linguistics phonology helps in identifying dialects and accents this can be crucial in legal cases where understanding someone's linguistic background might be a significant key in solving the case at least it can help us narrow down the suspect right let us move forward to the morphology what do you mean by morphology morphology in one word we can say that the structure of words we'll explore different types of morphemes like u n un that is prefix happy and any rebel as ness that is suffix so in in that one word in unhappiness we can divide three parts unhappy and ness fine so uh, this again uh, in a deep uh, subject to study fine uh, i have given more examples in the e content to refer to some of the morphemes can stand alone while others need to be attested to make sense fine so we can find basic rules for morphology and that can help you to clear your concepts about this in forensic linguistics analyzing how words are formed can help identify the author of the text now i'm going to tell you something very interesting this is a new word it's like a linguistic fingerprint you know about this fingerprint other card and all right but here we talk about linguistic fingerprint which is generally unique like fingerprint of a person the way everybody has unique fingerprint even the tongue print right in the same way everybody has its own way of using words and that is language using language uniquely that's why we are matching with fingerprint that is linguistic fingerprint right this is another area right which requires research and more exploration it's time to talk about the st sentence structures yes that is syntax it's time to talk about syntax syntax deals with the way words come together to form sentences all right we'll learn about different types of phrases and clauses right from parts of speech even uh, you, if you go deeper right we can find that from alphabet to letter to word to phrase to clause right so there are different layers that where we find in our ways okay and how changing the order can change the meaning of the sentence right you'll find some more interesting examples right for example even uh, the changing of the no the sentence for example only the word only is there now if you change the place of only in the sentence and it will change the you know meaning of sentence every time for example if i say yeah this is the pen my friend gifted me this you know pen on my birthday right now if i use only only my friend gifted me this pen on my birthday now if i change the you know sequence of only my friend only gifted me this pen on my birthday another shifting my friend gifted only this pen on my birthday and likewise see th this is interesting right so in this way uh, syntax you know works right so we'll we'll have more examples more detail in the e content you will find there fine now it's time to understand the meaning of language that is semantics let's discuss about semantics now semantics is the study of meaning in language we'll explore how words and sentences convey ideas and information focusing on denotation and connotations fine in legal settings the precise meaning of words is crucial we'll see how semantic analysis plays a key role in interpreting 
legal language and resolving ambiguities. And that's why people, you know, nowadays talk about legalese, right? So, where legal and linguistics come together, fine. To conclude, we can find that we'll bring together all these concepts, understanding how they interconnect gives us a comprehensive view of language, crucial for diving into the forensic linguistics. Thank you for joining us on this linguistic adventure. Remember, every aspect of linguistics we have covered opens the doors to deeper understanding and communication. Keep exploring and stay curious. Right? It's been an honor to guide you through this topic. Your engagement and, and enthusiasm will make this a memorable experience. Thank you for your dedication and participation. Stay tuned. Thank you very much. Namaskar.